Imagine a solar park so big that the electricity generated by it could power an entire country. It might sound unrealistic, but this is India's Kavda Renewable Energy Park, which is capable of generating 30 gigawatts of clean energy to revolutionize sustainability. Currently being constructed in Gujarat's Kutch district, Kavda Renewable Energy Park is a project that will revolutionize India's renewable energy. The location of this park was meticulously chosen, keeping in mind the availability of land and solar insulation levels. The area of Kutch also has strong winds, which makes it perfect for creating a hybrid energy powerhouse, generating both wind and solar energy. The park is being managed by Adani Green Energy Limited, India's leading renewable energy company. The company believes that the solar park could help the country achieve its goal of 500 gigawatts of non-fossil fuel energy by 2030, paving the way for a sustainable future. Kavda Renewable Energy Park will cover over 150,000 hectares and, once completed, can generate a whopping 30 gigawatts of energy, which can power 16.1 million homes each year. This feat will easily make it one of the biggest solar parks in terms of size as well as energy generation. The park is currently being constructed and expected to complete in the next three to four years. A project of this immense scale comes with an extensive cost, and this energy park wasn't an exception. The project is estimated to cost over $2.26 billion, which shows India's commitment towards sustainability. We've mentioned frequently that the solar plant will be able to generate 30 gigawatts of energy, and this is not easy. Generating energy of this magnitude will require more than one source, which is why the park will use a unique blend of solar and wind power, along with some ingenious storage solutions to execute this. A major chunk of the total energy produced by the Kavda Renewable Energy Park will come through solar power. The park will have thousands of state-of-the-art high-efficiency photovoltaic or PV panels scattered across approximately 538 square kilometers in Gujarat's Kutch area. Thanks to the region's intense sunlight, the panels will be able to maximize energy output. The company behind this ambitious project uses unique bifacial solar panels, which are capable of harnessing sunlight from both the front and back side of the panel. Furthermore, improved sun tracking systems will play an important role. These technologies allow the panels to track the sun's movement throughout the day, assuring the best exposure. By dynamically angling the panels, the trackers may enhance energy absorption by up to 25%, which is critical for meeting the massive 30 gigawatt target. Kavda also makes use of Gujarat's wind corridors, which have continuous high-speed winds. To realize this potential, the project uses cutting-edge wind turbines. These turbines are purposefully situated to maximize wind collection while exploiting the area's natural terrain. Blades installed in these turbines are carefully engineered using advanced aerodynamics, which will make them efficient even in slower winds. They're being meticulously placed at a height where they have access to higher wind speed for improved efficiency. Each turbine also comes with an intelligence system that allows it to adjust accordingly to prioritize maximum energy generation. Kavda Park's ingenious approach of using wind and solar to generate energy in synergy is what sets it apart from other solar parks. While the park can generate electricity through solar panels during the day, at night it can utilize wind generation to generate power as wind energy is often higher at night. This offers a consistent and reliable supply of power, which aids in the park's overall goal. With renewable energy, there might be some days where you don't have much energy generation, and on certain days, you might generate more energy than you had projected. To ensure the energy is managed efficiently, the park will have an ingenious energy storage infrastructure. Excess energy produced during peak hours will be integrated into India's grids and stored in massive batteries for consumption later. This energy will be then released slowly when there's higher demand and low energy generation, ensuring a smooth supply of energy. While this seems to be a feasible solution, in the long run, the team can invest in hydrogen storage, which uses surplus energy to produce green hydrogen for consumption. When combined, these technologies can create a harmonious ecosystem that can help India achieve its goal of producing 30 gigawatts of renewable energy, setting an example for the world. Planning and construction of a project of this magnitude surely has its impacts, 
but it comes with some serious challenges. One of the key challenges this mega project faced was obviously acquiring 538 square kilometers of land for the park. Even if it looks simple, it isn't, because a lot of thought goes into it. From navigating complex land acquisition laws to ensuring minimal displacement of local communities, the team had to look at every aspect before finalizing the area. While deciding the land, they also had to seek approval for environmental protection agencies, as an area this arid is home to hundreds of unique ecosystems and organisms which could be damaged. Being built in the arid region of Kutch, the project had its unique complexities. The region faces fierce winds, erratic rainfall, and scorching heats, which can cause difficult working conditions for both professionals and construction workers. Additionally, constructing megaprojects in drier landscapes like Kutch calls for creative engineering approaches to ensure durability. The park's infrastructure showcases innovative engineering at its finest. To link the generated power to India's national grid, the project features the building of a vast network of underground cabling, transmission lines, and substations. This features high-voltage direct current systems that can effectively move electricity across great distances, especially since Kavda is located far from key demand centers. To ensure the project runs smoothly and is ready within the predicted deadline, thousands of skilled construction workers, engineers, and renewable energy experts work collectively. This incredible number is essential as the park is divided into several subsections, which need individual attention. The construction phase takes assistance from modern technologies like AI-driven monitoring systems and drones to map land and oversee construction. Kavda Renewable Energy Park is being developed in phases. As of now, the team has successfully managed to install initial solar farms and have established transmission infrastructure. Some sections of the park are ready and are already generating electricity, which the team is studying to make energy yield more efficient. The project's first phase will be completed anytime in 2025 and is expected to become fully operational by 2030. Sustainability stays a top concern even with its great scope. The Adani Green Energy Group has taken necessary steps to reduce environmental harm during building. For instance, they have completely skipped environmentally sensitive places to conserve natural environments. To further balance possible environmental effects, the project also includes replanting in nearby regions. The Kavda Renewable Energy Park is said to create a profound impact on not only India but also globally. A renewable energy project of this magnitude and power generation is surely something other countries will try to implement. The staggering 30 gigawatts of clean energy India aims to produce with this park will revolutionize renewable energy distribution and elevate India's image as a leader in sustainability. One of the most noteworthy features of the Kavda project is its extensive energy output, which has been meticulously tailored to accommodate a variety of applications. A significant portion of the 30 gigawatts will be allocated to meet the increasing domestic energy requirements of India, which will provide pure electricity to millions of households and businesses. This ensures that a population that is swiftly urbanizing has access to reliable power. More broadly, it's anticipated that the surplus energy will be incorporated into India's national infrastructure, thereby stabilizing the supply and decreasing dependence on coal and other fuels. Globally, the exports of renewable energy from the Kavda project are expected to grow, therefore enhancing India's status as a major energy exporter. By building an environmentally sustainable example other nations may copy, the park also shows India's will to help global decarbonization targets. The Adani Green Group has partnered with Google on the Kavda Renewable Energy Park, where under a landmark agreement, the park will supply clean energy to power Google's cloud services. This is a big step in the right direction and shows that India is doing something revolutionary with this energy park. Currently, Google relies heavily on non-renewable energy sources for their cloud computing as it needs significant power to operate. By shifting to renewable energy from Kavda Park, they will significantly reduce carbon emissions, contributing to a greener environment. The Kavda Renewable Energy Park is a key player in India's goal of generating 500 gigawatts of renewable energy by 2030 with the park alone contributing 30 gigawatts of energy. The success of this project is crucial for India, as it relies heavily on coal to produce a significant share of their energy, which accounts to significant carbon emissions. That's all for today. What do you think? 
Will this project reduce India's dependence on coal for energy generation, or will it be a waste of money and resources? Let us know in the comments section below.